Hello everyone. In this video I show how to build a diagonal cube frame using a technique outlined by Mathematism. In the tutorial I build the shape in the size shown here with edge count 12 and requiring 2,752 magnets. The shape can also be built in smaller and larger sizes, including this mammoth cube frame with edge count 28 and requiring 7,552 magnets. The written description provides information about the number of magnets needed to build the shape in any size. I'll start off by showing how to make the edge pieces which look like this. And this, uh, these edge pieces can be made in any length. In this case it's an edge count of 1, 2, 3, 4. The number of magnets protruding from this piece. We'll need 12 of them. I've made 11. Let me make the 12th now. To do so you start off with a square of four magnets and then add eight magnets around the periphery of those four to form a bowl shape that's concave up. And then you add magnets, two magnets to each side. So we've added a total of eight more magnets to this. And it looks like that. And the next step is to push these last eight magnets down until instead of having three layers, you've got two layers. Here's the top, here's the bottom. And we're going to insert a magnet in the center of this square. So we have a nice filled 3x3 three three square. And then make another uh, square of four magnets and place that right in the center of the top. So it looks like this. And then add uh, two magnets to each side. And then you can see one, two, three, four magnets here that form a kind of a hollow space. I want to add a magnet in each one of those hollow spaces. So this is uh, the start. You can see that this bottom face looks the same as this top face. And um, the next step to add the next layer, you make a diamond shape on this, put a magnet in the middle, and I'm going to call this layer the A layer. It reminds me a little bit of the shape of an A. And um, we'll get, we're going to be alternating between A layers and B layers in building this, um, this lattice. Then we add a, a diamond of four to this. Then we'll proceed as we did before, adding two around the outside, then noting that we've got a hollow space here, adding magnets to each of the hollow spaces. Get the dog eating his dinner in the background. And Then I call this the B layer. It reminds me a little, if you draw a line down the middle, this uh, looks a little bit like a B. So then we just alternate between A layers and B layers. So now you see um, we have a, a piece of edge length 4 and that completes the, uh, the 12 that I need to build this shape, the 12 edge pieces. 
And you'll, uh, all of these have been wound in exactly the same way. They've been wound in a, in a clockwise fashion. Um, okay, so the next step then is to think about the corner pieces. These will form the edges. These will form the eight corners of the cube. And what you see here is a four-layer arrangement with a triangle on the top and an identical triangle on the bottom and then a couple of layers in the middle. And actually, just so you understand how this all fits together, I'm going to add a, a top layer and a bottom layer, both triangles, So there's the top, and then here's the bottom. I have to turn the triangle over, place it on the bottom. And then what you see now, I've got to remember that that's the top, or I'll forget the polarity. Well, basically you see now is a diagonal cube with edge count two. Each face of this diagonal cube is one of those B layers that we used for the edge pieces. So I'm going to take these back off again so that this looks identical to its friends. And, um, and I'm going to build the, the eighth one of these guys. To do it, we'll start off with a, a ring of six magnets pinch it into a triangle, and then add one layer of magnets to the outside of that triangle. So you see in the interior there was the initial triangle of six magnets, and then we've added one layer to the outside. Do that again. Exactly the same thing. Then we'll need two filled hexagons wound in the same direction, like that, and like that. Then, in this next step, I'm going to place this triangle on top of this triangle. In order to get it right, I want this row of magnets to make contact with this second row of three magnets. So I'm going to hold it in place. Make sure it's in contact and then push it a little bit forward like that and smash it down and you can see that it's these two are symmetrically oriented on top of each other and then these two magnets and these two magnets are starting to form a staircase we want this these two magnets to match that staircase just like that then we're going to add a magnet to three corners of this filled hexagon so that you get that uh, triangle on top. Now I'm going to do the same thing on the bottom. I'm going to turn this one over and also in order to get the polarity right I'm going to turn this guy over, place it on top in order to maintain this, uh, this staircase and then add magnets to the three corners of the filled hexagon. Until you get something like this. Now you can remember that we're, we're looking at the bottom side now, turning this back upright for our fifth one, or for our uh, eighth corner. Uh, we'll also need these pieces that, that uh, we're going to attach to these corner pieces. These pieces have, as you can see, an A layer from the edge pieces on both sides. And it's a B layer in the middle. So this is really an A, B, A. Now, what I, to, to build this shape, you, it's pretty much the same as these guys, but you start out a little differently. Start out uh, with a square, and instead of adding the next layer above this, you'll add it below. So 
So we're adding eight magnets below. You can see that it's a mountain instead of a instead of a bowl. And then again add two to each side symmetrically. Looks the same as before, it's just um, just upside down. And then we're going to add another layer of eight to this top one, keeping taking care not to allow this magnet chain to contact anything but these top four magnets. So I attach that one there. I leave this one dangling, then I attach this next magnet between these next two. And then this next magnet, like that. Now looking at the bottom side, I'm going to leave it there and then smash these down around and insert a magnet into the middle and you can see that this is an A layer. And this middle layer is a B layer and then back to another A layer on the other side. And that's how to make these pieces. So now to finish the, the uh, corner pieces, we're going to uh, add a triangle to the top of this like we did before to demonstrate that this really is a diagonal cube. And you can recall, if you look at it this way, then it reminds you that it really is a diagonal cube, but it's just laying on one corner. And then we're going to attach these guys to each of these three faces. So, and the way that that is done is, those, uh, is the bottom sides of, of these pieces will attach to the one, two, three faces. And you can see this bottom side here with, with nine magnets arranged in a square. These three magnets along the edge here will attach just below these two magnets that I just added in the top triangle to that piece. So I'm talking about these three magnets right here. I'm going to uh, attach it just like that with these three, three magnets attaching to this triangle. Okay, just like that. And then Mathematism came up with a great trick for making sure these will stick properly. And that is to uh, take these one, two, three, four, five magnets and push them toward the center. So we get a good bond there, here and here, all three places. So we get a good strong bond here while we're adding the other magnets that we need to make this shape. And the magnets that we'll need, there's a, there's a gap between that magnet and that magnet in which, into which two magnets will fit all three places around the triangle. There's a gap here. Add a magnet right there. We're going to now add the magnets onto the bottom by making a triangle, turning it over, and then just placing it on the bottom. And now, and only now, can we then uh, move these, these rows of, uh, these layers of five away from the center because now the magnetic fields are are lined up and this thing is uh, is, or sh is or should be strong. And there's one more piece needed to finish this and that is right in this gap in the middle here there's a space for three magnets. The, so I'm going to make a triangle 
And the polarity here is important. Um, and I think magnetism must have uh, tried different things to make sure this is as strong as possible. The way you don't want the polarity to be is a connection like this, where the magnet of this triangle is attaching to two magnets here. If it attaches like that, and then turn the triangle over. Now I want the ma this magnet, I want this guy to still go between those two magnets, but down into the bottom. And it really doesn't want to go there. And so you have to manhandle this thing into place. Taking a firm grip, just make sure the polarity is right. Yeah. So now we're getting attraction to, to one of these balls rather than to the region in between those two balls. So the way that I found to do this is to expose two magnets like that and aim for the hollow spaces, one here and one here, and then the third magnet will go here. Like that. And if you've done it right, these three magnets that you've just added will, will make good contact with the surface below, and this whole thing will be nice and strong. So um, we're going to go ahead and you can actually see now the remnants of that uh, diagonal cube. We started off with a diagonal cube of edge count 2, then we added on faces, and this will become one corner of the diagonal cube frame. So we need to make four corners just like that. So what we're going to do now is to build out uh, these corners by adding the, um, the edges to them. And that's pretty straightforward in the sense that we just want those to match up just like that. And then we, uh, we're going to finish out the, the corners by adding magnets like that. So that's nice. Do the same to these other four corners, or other three corners. Okay, now to attach these four corners together, then we're going to need these, uh, these other vertices. These will need to be of the opposite polarity. So we're going to turn all these pieces over and then build corners out of these pieces in the same way that we built them out of the other pieces. I'm make some room. I'm going to turn all these over. And then 
Build them the same way we did before, but remembering now that the polarity is reversed. So a triangle that would have fit this way has to be turned over. And but then everything else should pretty much be the same. Just like that. So there's a corner piece of reverse polarity. Do the same to the other three corner pieces. Okay, here are the four corners with the edge pieces that we made before, and the four corners that we just made with reverse polarity. So we're going to use three of these, attach three of these to the ends of one of these, and then one to the ends of one of the others. So I'm just going to go ahead and connect that one there. Here. And here. And then connect. this guy here. Let me set these others aside. Go ahead and fill in the uh, missing magnets. Okay, so now we're going to put this whole thing together. We'll start with the one that we put the three corners on. And first thing we'll do is to add this guy here. the remaining magnets later. I'm going to add this guy here. I'll put this contact there first, there second, here third, and then finally guy and fill in the uh, missing magnets and you're done. 